Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the effects found in the Tech 01 Style Kit in Premiere Pro. Now if you are not familiar with Rampant Style Kits, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the amazing packs that Rampant has put together for your video needs. Everything from emojis all the way to business kits, Rampant has your video style needs covered, it's super easy to use them and I'm going to show you how. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all about how to get started with the effects from Tech01 in Premiere Pro, so let's jump over to Premiere and get started. Now before I begin, I want to point out that this Tech01 tutorial is part of a training series for the Tech01 Style Kit. This tutorial is going to be all about how to get started with the effects, but check out the other Tech01 tutorials for more advanced techniques. Alright, let's get started. Now the very first thing you'll see here is I've already created a sequence. This is a 1920 by 1080 sequence, so HD. Here's my clip. All right, that's already created. Now the very first thing we have to do is we have to import our effects. Our rampant effects have to get imported into here. Well, you can do that two ways. You can come up to File, go to Import, and then find your effects this way, wherever you've st saved them or stored them. Or you can just pull up your effects in their folders. You can highlight them all. You can copy them and drag them into Premiere, just like that. Any way you want to do it, just import your, your files into Premiere and you're ready to get started. Now, like I mentioned, this is all about how to get started, and this is just the basic techniques on using Tech01. So we're going to be laying our elements on top of our video footage and then doing some effects to them, but these are really, really simple techniques. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these animated mats. I'm going to open them up here, and I'm going to drag this bin up here to my bigger window so you can see it. And these mats are really cool. You can preview them. Just take your, just hover over them, and you get to see what they do. There's some really cool animations in here. But I really like these glitchy things at the bottom right here, which are really neat. So we're going to take one of these. I like this one right here. All I'm going to do is highlight it. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it down on top of my video. Okay. So now if I roll this back, you'll see that the elements been added. Okay. Super simple. All right. Just like that. Now we can do some things to this element right here, this effect. First of all, we're working in an HD timeline and these are 4k effects. So if we go to our effect controls, we can work with the scale. Okay. Maybe I want it to be like that. You can work with the position. Maybe let's scale it up a little bigger, just like that. And we can play that through. So we worked with the position and the scale. And we can also work with the blend mode down here. You can change this from normal. You can use any of these that you like, but I'm going to try overlay. I like the way it looks right here as it blends with the environment in the background. So we rewind that and you have this really cool glitchy edge type thing going on. I love the way that looks. Now, what you can also do, because this is a white effect, if I go back here and change this back to normal, this is a white effect. You can actually color this as well. So you can add a tint to this. How do you do that? Well, you go to your effects panel. You're going to type in the word tint, so T-I-N-T. -I -N -T. Here's your tint. You're going to drag that to your rampant effect. And then you're just going to tell the white here what color you want. So maybe we want to say, let's do, let's grab our tool here and let's pick up one of these blues. One of these really nice blues here. That's pretty cool. So let's say OK. And there you go. Now you have this blue effect. And you can also change the blend mode back to overlay. Ooh, I like the way that looks. So let's rewind that, roll that through. Oh, that's beautiful. OK. So that was super easy. All we did was take from our bin, OK, from our bin here, we just highlighted it drug our effect on top of our video, and then we changed the position, the sizing, the blend mode, and we added a color. Okay, everybody with me? All right, we added our tint for our color. Super easy. Okay, that's technique little num technique number one. All right, let's keep adding some more things to our video, more effects. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my project. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to work with my animated elements, and I'm going to pull these up to here and make them a little bigger. And there are some really cool things in here. There's these really cool squares and bars and triangles and circles and uh, all kinds of different tech elements that you can add into your videos, which are really neat. But I really like these things called lines. Okay, so they, they're these really cool, let me just highlight one of these. These are really cool, techy, animated elements. They're already done for me. They're MOV files. I literally just have to take it, drag it, and I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to choose one of these. Let's see. Let's close this panel. And let's choose like this one. Okay, so all we're going to do is, again, grab it drag it and drop it on top just like that. So now if I roll this through, you will see that now we have this really cool animated element on top of our video. Awesome. 
All right, now again, these are 4K files, so it's going to look like it's very large. So let's highlight our effect, go to our effect controls, and then play with the scale. And then we can play with the position as well. Maybe I want it to be at the bottom. That looks pretty cool. And again, you could throw a tint on here if you wanted to. So if we wanted to throw another tint on there and go ahead and grab another blue, just like that. Or you can just leave it white, which I think I'm gonna do. So let's undo that. Let's take the tint off. Make sure we saw the tint on the other one, perfect. So here we have this file with this really cool uh, animated element. Now, this is a really long animated element and my clip is really short, but I still like all this animation. So what you can do, because these are MOV files, I can right click and I can change the speed. All right, so let's change the speed. Let's speed it up like 300%. Now let's rewind that and watch this. So now I have this faster animated element. I love the way that looks. Okay, so you can work with the speed, the color, the position, the scale. There's so much you can do here and I love that. All right, let's keep adding some stuff. Let's keep adding some cool stuff. Oh yeah, let's also, let's change the blend mode of this from normal to overlay. Let's blend it in with the background. That looks really neat. Okay, now let's add some more things. Let's add some more effects. And let's go over here to our glitch effects folder and let's bring our glitch effects folder up here so we can see and you will see there's all kinds of different glitches and glitch goodness in here. I love it. All right. And let's just go ahead and grab number one. So grab it, select it and drop it in. And we can put these wherever we want, just like that. That looks awesome. And with these effects, you can do the same thing. So if, with the effect selected, I can go back to the effect controls. I can work with the scale. I can make it small. You can work with the position, you can move it up, you can move it down, wherever you'd like. And you can work with the blend mode. So you can change this to screen, looks pretty neat. You can change it to overlay again, that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna keep it on overlay, I like the way that looks. And now I'm gonna just gonna hold down option and I'm gonna make a couple copies of this. So hold down option again, oops. So let's hold down option and drag another effect out. I can't seem to hold down option today, there we go. There we go. All right, now if we rewind this, we have zzz, 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 zzz. I love the way that looks. All right, so that's awesome. All right, now let's keep building. We can add some more things. Let's go back to our project and then let's look at this animated background elements. Let's go ahead and pull that up here. And these are some really cool things just to stick on top once you've got everything down. And I really like this because it looks like motion lines. All right, see that? That's pretty cool. So again, we can just grab it, drag it, drop it, drop it on top, just like that, which looks really cool. You see those lines going past? Love the way that looks. And then what we can do is, I can actually move that down just a little bit. Let's move it down a tad so it sort of starts here, okay? And then we can also make a copy of that. So hold down Option, drag up, and put that at the end. And then we can work with the effect controls and of this one. And we can change the position so we can move it up some. So then it's gonna look like we've got all kinds of motion lines. I love it, that looks awesome. So now if we rewind that all the way back and we play that through, You've just created this really, really cool uh, motorcycle scene in no time at all. We've added all these different glitch elements, these animated elements, and all these effects from the tech pack, and it was super, super simple. Super easy. I love the way this looks. And that's that. Now you know how to get started with the effects found in the Tech01 Style Kit. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this tutorial is part of a training series for Tech01, so check out the links in the description for more easy to follow techniques. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.